Now to a jailhouse interview with convicted swindler Bernie Madoff. And he, even now, he is admitting to being stunned by the government's inability to catch him. NBC's Peter Alexander has details on that. Peter, good morning to you. Matt, good morning to you. This is significant because it's the first time we're hearing from Bernie Madoff from behind bars as he tries to explain how he managed to conceal the largest Ponzi scheme in U.S. history for so long. Madoff mocked the SEC's incompetence for botching at least six past investigations into his firm, at one point calling one of the investigators formally assigned to his case an idiot. In the jailhouse interview, Bernie Madoff told federal investigators even he was stunned by the government's inability to catch him for more than two decades while he masterminded a $65 billion Ponzi scheme. His startling admissions were revealed in more than 6,000 pages of documents just released by the Securities and Exchange Commission following a Freedom of Information request by CNBC's Scott Cohn. In the interview, Madoff said SEC investigators never even looked at my stock records. If they did, he added, it would have been easy for them to see the scam. The most striking thing about these exhibits is that it turns out that this fraud was nothing complex, nothing particularly clever. It was a straight up plain vanilla Ponzi scheme that really should have been discovered by regulators years ago, but wasn't. Also in the new exhibits, evidence of six failed inquiries by the SEC after several strong complaints against Madoff since 1992, including this letter to the SEC chairman three years ago, calling Madoff an extreme example of uncontrollable greed, which should be investigated by the proper authorities. Still, while Madoff ridiculed the SEC's ineptitude, he admitted he was worried every time investigators showed up. That was the nightmare I lived with, he explained. I wish they caught me six years ago, eight years ago. The real significance of the Madoff story is that it shows how the regulators here really missed the boat, how they didn't ask the right questions, how they never followed up, and how this could happen again unless they changed the way they approach regulation. In part, Madoff credited his reputation as a high-powered financial genius for helping him avoid getting caught sooner, stating that current SEC chairwoman Mary Shapiro was a dear friend. In fact, the inspector general determined there was no proof Madoff and Ms. Shapiro had a close relationship and no evidence of any criminal wrongdoing by SEC members involved in the case. Madoff's conclusion, in his own words, it never entered the SEC's mind that it was a Ponzi scheme. For its part, the SEC would not comment on the newly released exhibits. In the interview, Madoff, a former NASDAQ chairman, said he was, quote, very proud of the role he played on Wall Street, acknowledging, of course, that he has destroyed that now. The interview, Matt, by the way, was conducted by the SEC's inspector general last June, just days before Madoff was sentenced to 150 years in federal prison. Matt? All right, Peter Alexander. Peter, thank you very much.